is the muddler minnow. A lot of times I ask people, it's like, uh, what do you think of the muddler minnow? And um, you know, really, they, some of them don't even know. This has to be uh, another go-to fly for me. Typically in the spring, fall, mild to fast moving water, kind of dark, overcast. When it's bright, you know, I really don't fish with it. Some people call it a fly, some people call it a streamer. I call it a fly just to uh, just to keep everything uniform with my vocab. I fish it like a streamer. Pretty much just like the woolly bugger. And if you missed that video, it's listed and linked down below. Try to get a smaller uh, fly. The size I like to get is usually 14 or 12, something really small. The, fi the fish I uh, go out after and trout I go after they're smaller they're like you know 8 to 12 inch this thing it mimics uh, you know leeches pretty much anything and even a minnow I think uh, as a fish just has an angry day and he sees this thing coming by and he's gonna nail it. doesn't like it or something. usually I use this as a locating tool see what fish are in there if I know something's in there I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to something a little bit more specific definitely we'll use the swing technique throw it out there I'm cross like just across the stream throw it up let it drift down and it swings when it swings there's a rock here and there's a hole. Where, where you think the fish may be, just let that sucker swing over it. I like to drag it up through. Just reach your rod out there and just like pull your line, hold it with this hand, you know, and just pull it up and then let it go. So you're, you know, you just want it to come up and then let it go back, the stream take it down. Like he's trying to fight the current. It's like a tease, you know, these trout see it, see it. And when you let it go, he'll go down a little deeper, bring it up. Trout just they just seem that they just can't stand this thing in there. It's just like it's in their territory. They want it out and they're going to kill it. Usually in the muddler minnow, you're not going to have that beaded head. So what I'm going to have to do is add some weight to it. Split shot here. It may cast a little better. We go 18 inches out here, put a split shot on. It's a little bit harder to cast. I'll use the roll cast. Streams I fish are, you know, pretty short, 10 yards wide. Sometimes they're pretty, they're a lot wider and you can really get get some stretch on to don't put that split shot on this muddler minnow the way it's designed it seems like it's just it's just going to rise up to the top almost at the very top so you're going through some fast water it could actually skim on top of the water some people use this as a cricket bait on uh, some lakes or slow moving water these things will actually f float pretty much so or you can put some like your uh, float paste and um, rip it across the water so i tried that before but i haven't had any luck um, if you had some luck you know throw me some comments down there i'd love to hear from kind of just like the woolly bugger I I'll use this on a uh, like an overcast, you know, darkerish day. You know, darkerish. I don't even know if that's a word, but uh, if it's an overcast day, the water's a little cloudy or something. I have the the min the muddler, <laughs> the muddler is a little darker in color. I'm also gonna look for some maybe like medium flow in water there. Nothing like too fast rapids. Now if the rapids are deep, then that's diff. Shallow water. I'm gonna roll it in there, swing it around. And I think the real key with the muddler is same as the woolly bugger, is not to let the fish think too much that, hey, this thing's in my territory, kill it, I wanna eat it. Cast out there in slower water, clear water, just the sight of this thing hitting the water, it's not gonna be too appealing to these fish. So the muddler minnow, I mean, it's definitely something you need to keep in your uh, arsenal of weapons there. So to recap, the muddler minnow, I, you want to get between 14 and 12 light, so uh, you're going to put a split shot on it, put 18 inches above the fly. If you like the muddler, like this video, share it. If you have some questions or comments, comment down below. I actually, I'd love to hear how you uh, fish the muddler. Follow me on Instagram at Hicks Run. I'll be posting a lot more stuff, uh, watch stuff. It'd actually be my photography. And uh, again, you might see the muddler minnow on display. He's actually my pretty much my go-to fly. I mean... He's right up there with the woolly bugger. If you don't have the mother minnow, go to your local fly shop. I love to support them. Hopefully they heard of it. I guarantee you they have. Um, if they have the right size or not. If I find like a size 14, man, I'll stock up on like uh, four of them and I'll have some in the console in my truck.